<laughs> Hello, it's day two of my 50 days of harvesting and uh, and it's been a it's been a really good start to the day. I've already had time to go outside and uh, and harvest a few things and now And now I'm shelling my my blotty beans. So I thought I'd have a chat while I was shelling them. Um, so I've got a pot to put the the waste in, which isn't really waste because it will will go back onto the compost heap. And I've got a bowl, an optimistically large bowl, to <laughs> to put my blotty beans into. Uh, so you're going to be able to hear the pop, pop, pop of the beans and the Chink as the rubbish goes into the uh, the bowl for the compost, and uh, so sorry about the extra noise. So, yesterday we went to that castle. How fantastic was that? Wales is a is just a fabulous place. If you like if you like history and you like really old things, and you are mesmerised as I am by the skill that people had to, to just to build huge buildings um, so many years ago. Uh, Wales is a great place to live because there are castles galore. And um, from where I am, it, in the space of, I don't know, three or four miles in one direction, there's a castle. Four miles in the other direction, op you know, opposite direction, there's a castle. Um, and within a half hour drive there are probably i'm going to guess i would have said there are probably another eight or nine more and you know that's a lot of castles <laughs> uh, and i haven't been to see them all um i certainly haven't uh i haven't visited them all but uh all ones i've visited i've just i always say why don't i do this more often and the answer is time and um There's always a time constraint, isn't there? But, you know, when I make the time, I'm always really pleased that I've done it. So I guess the moral of that story is that uh, actually making the time is worth it. So some of these beans, some of these beans are looking really pretty. Look at the colour of these. I'm really pleased with them. Uh, so the idea of these beans is that uh, they're not completely dried out yet, so I haven't waited until the pods have gone dry and crispy. Uh, they are still, they're still, uh, well they're just beginning to go leathery, but they're certainly not dry. Uh, because I want to blanch these uh, in a pan of boiling water and then put them in portion size bags uh, in the freezer. And I have a plan. Um, I don't think it's a cunning plan. But uh, it is a plan. And my plan is that during the winter, when I'm really uh, less organised than I might be in the summer and I have a lot less energy, uh, I am going to hoik out of the freezer uh, everything that I think we might want for a week of food and uh, put it into a different freezer because hooray, 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 today we've got a new freezer just, just been delivered. Uh, so that's it gives us an, an extra storage space uh, but I thought if I took out uh, enough food for a week and put it in a freezer in the house rather than in the barn uh, we could well it would allow me to be a bit more organized um, and one of the things I will be doing very soon uh, is cooking masses of masses of meals um, and freezing them as a sort of two portions two portions in a packet or in a box or a tub or whatever it is that I use um, because then when I'm have less energy and oh I just dropped I dropped a bellotti excuse me uh, so yes yeah, so when I've got less energy 
uh, there will be effectively homemade ready meals in the freezer which Mr J can just pop into a microwave and heat up or pop into a pan and heat, heat up. I'm dropping these beans everywhere now. Uh, so yes, so that will allow us to have lots of ready meals um, and also um, portions of vegetables just ready to, to pop into a pan uh, and heat up uh, or just pop into a pan and cook. That actually sounds very organised, doesn't it? Uh, I haven't done it yet, obviously. <laughs> so it's not that organised. Uh, but the intention is there. And uh, certainly last year, uh, when I cooked quite a lot of, uh, of ready meals, they were just, they were such a bonus um, for the days that either, well, two things, either I wasn't feeling up to it uh, or I was too tired. Or if we've been out anywhere, um, and I haven't had time to cook from scratch. It's really nice to be able to have a properly home cooked meal, uh, just heated up and, uh, and, and done and dusted. So what do you do? Do you, do you can, do you uh, bottle things or do you just freeze and do you make uh, complete meals ready to use? Um, I know lots of people don't use a microwave uh, and I guess those there uh, you then have to think about a different way of heating food up uh, if you've cooked uh, a whole meal in advance um but yeah leave leave some notes and let me know so what's the point of all this rambling well it's to say hooray 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 our new freezer's arrived and uh, and obviously now i have to sit let it sit and wait for 24 hours or so uh before i plug it in uh to cool down and then my plan is to take everything out of our existing upright freezer and put it in the new freezer and defrost our upright freezer. Great plans. So yes, I can defrost the uh, our upright freezer, which will allow me to A, sort it out uh, and tidy up in there and make take an inventory of the food we've got in it. Uh, and B, I can just work out uh, what food is going to live in which freezer um, because the upright freezer uh, is in our boot room, so it's in the house. Whereas the chest freezer uh, is not, it's in an outbuilding and in the middle of winter, that means checking out in the rain and the wind when, uh, when we're all already feeling a bit wet and tired. So. These are our plans. And in the middle of winter, <laughs> when I'm saying to you, I wish I didn't have to trek outside to the barn, you can remind me that I said I wasn't gonna have to do that. <laughs> this, is, um, this is gonna be a long process and my optimistic bowl, oh, it is already filling up. Look at this. Some of them are such pretty colours. I'm. It's a real shame because bolotti beans look beautiful like this, and then you cook them and the colour goes. Uh, but the taste doesn't. And um, bolotti beans I had for the first time last year. <laughs> now. Why I've never had them before, who knows? But they are fabulous. They are my new favourite thing, apart from chicken. Um, <laughs> and maybe they're my favourite thing because we don't, we didn't have that many of them last year, and uh, and it was, it was such a treat to have them. I'm optimistic that we will have uh, plenty of food for the winter, uh, which is. Which is a big turnaround because our, earlier in the year, uh, I really wasn't convinced that we would that we would have enough to see us through. Now, obviously, we can go to the shops. We have the luxury of having uh, supermarkets very close by, uh, and we can do that. But what we don't have is we don't have scads of spare cash to go spending on on good quality food, uh, and that's why I grow it. So that basket full of uh, beans that I gathered from the garden gave me a bag like this 
uh, and the total weight is one pound 13 and a bit ounces uh, which I'm really pleased with it was not all the beans out in the garden there are plenty more to uh, to gather in but the point of uh, my 50 days of harvesting is only to gather in uh, enough food each day that I can actually process and get stored away so I think I think a basket full is about as much as I can do in a day when I've also got the other bits and pieces to do and so wherever you are in the world and whatever you're doing today I hope it's a good one for you and I also hope you can join me again tomorrow